Hi, I'm Josh. And I'm Han Ming. Hi. It's a pleasure to have you here today. Yep. So, hope you guys can spare us a few minutes as we take you through all the latest updates in this month's CSI. We would like to welcome back Joel and Anna, and we look forward to celebrating your wedding with you next weekend. I can't wait. And like say happy Father's Day to all dads out there for being such a great role model to us. Hope you do appreciate the gifts that we're going to give to you later. And do know that we do appreciate your love that you've given to us. I'm standing in a museum that used to be a church. In 1887, Pastor Henry and his wife Grace planted this church in a one-room schoolhouse just down the road. And in 1888, they were able to build this building. And they passed on their love for this community because of the gospel to a generation. And things were going really well. But two generations after this church was planted, it died. And you can see the pictures behind me of the faithful members of this congregation. And many of them lie in the graveyard behind the church. This church had a man crisis. It was men who made this church come alive, and it was probably men who caused this church to die. In churches, when men stop investing in younger men, younger men stop caring. That's probably what happened to this church, and that's definitely what's happening in our churches. Older gentlemen do not know how to finish well. They don't know how to invest. And so middle-aged men don't know how to stay married. They don't know how to stay connected to the hearts of their children. And so younger men don't even want to be men. And so younger men are prolonging their adolescence. And they're doing this residentially. Guys in their 20s and early 30s, a third of them live with their parents. That's a 100% increase in the last 20 years. They're doing it professionally. Men 18 to 42 will change jobs 11 times. They're doing it recreationally. The average age of a video game user is 35 years old. And so when these men finally stop fondling the controller, they fondle themselves. Every second of every day, $3,000 is spent on pornography. Every second. We need better men. Tragically, the last time the gospel was preached from this pulpit to this church was 1957. Three to four thousand churches this year will close just like this church. Why? Because the story and the glory of the church becomes bigger than the story and glory of God. See, the, the men and women who planted this church, they actually believe this stuff. They actually believe that Jesus lived a perfect life, that, that he died a brutal death, and that he rose again, triumphing over sin and death. They believed it, and because they believed it happened, they believe it had implications on their life, that their sin could be forgiven, that they could have a new identity, and that they could be sent on mission with this God who is on mission. But the reality is most Christians are not on mission. A recent poll said that 60% of all Christians felt no obligation whatsoever to share their faith. Now the temptation for us pastors is to beat the sheep with a stat like that in our sermons, but here's the reality, guys. They're simply imitating and following our example. We need a glimpse of the God who is on mission. My friend Dave was meeting with a consultant who asked him this question. Dave, why do I have a bigger dream for your church and your city than you do? Now, I don't know about you, but I don't want anyone to have a bigger dream for my church and my city than me. And I don't want to build a museum. I want to be a part of a movement. Hey, Chase, you know what's coming up soon? If you don't, it's Community, community projects. projects! Have you signed up? Yes, I have. Have you? Well, I'm going to. What about you, cameraman? Yeah, what about you, PCC? If you haven't, head on down to the second floor to sign up for one of the six projects that we have organized for you. 
hurry up as this is the last weekend for you to sign up. Take this opportunity to bring God's love to them and be blessed. Yeah, also take note that this weekend we'll be starting to sell the tickets for anniversary lunch which is held at Stone Bay Restaurant on the 7th of August. So do come by and also for all cell leaders out there, please do encourage your cell group to go as a cell as this opportunity for lunch is great. Remember, corporate prayer is now held half an hour before every service at room 4 on level 1. We hope to see you there. Yep, that's right. And thanks so much for joining us in this month's CSI. Hope to see you soon. Till then, God bless you all. See you.